Hello everyone, I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. In this video, we're going to unbox and configure Fortigit ATF Firewall. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Okay, let's start configuration. After connecting your network cable to management or port 1 on FortiGate, you should set the IP address of your laptop. FortiGate default IP address is 192.168.1.99.24, so you can use any IP in this subnet instead of 99. 192.168.1100. Okay. D 
default username is admin and default password is admin. Sorry, default password is blank. At first login, you have to set the admin password. Old password is blank. Write the password twice. OK. Login again. I am logging to FortiGate, and at first step, I am going to set the interface IP. We have two WAN interface and one hardware switch. Select hardware switch and click on edit. I prefer to remove any attached interface to this hardware switch because I don't want to use this unit as a switch. As you can see, in hardware switch, I have just one interface and another ports appears as physical port. I want to use port 2 as a management interface. Write management IP address based on my topology. OK. In my topology, I used port 3. As a local network interface. Also, enable DHCP on this interface. Enable device detection to detect any connected device to this VLAN. Config WN1 port. IP address. I use WN1 and WN2 to connect this unit to internet. I also will set up SD1 on these interfaces. Config WN2 interface.
interface configuration finished. Config SD1 on internet facing interfaces. SD1 set the status to enable. Add WN After that WN2 interface members Apply. SD1 interface appears separately under interface menu. Now create a policy to allow local network clients to access internet. Remove this default policy Create new Write the name of this policy Select local network as incoming interface Select SD1 as outgoing interface I used this policy to show how to configure so I don't take attention to services and addresses. Don't forget to enable NAT for Internet Access Policies. In production environment, don't forget to use security profiles. OK, basic configuration of FortiGet Firewall finished. But in your production environment, don't forget to configure everything on your firewall. Unbox and configure FortiGet ATF Firewall. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts or any questions you might have. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance your friends and family will too, so don't hesitate to share it with them. Sharing is caring.